Bismillahirrahmanirrahim In the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful Dear students assalamu alaikum my name is Aisha Abdullah subject specialist maths at Divianal Public School and College Sahiwal Students I will teach you maths of class 6 and this is your lecture number 6 students as you already know that we are studying chapter number 1 that is sets so here are the contents include empty set or null set singleton set finite and infinite set Exercise number 1.3, question number 1 and 2. Students, by the end of this topic, you will be able to define an empty set, singleton set, finite and infinite set. And also, you will be able to separate the finite and infinite set. Students, firstly, we recall the previous knowledge. As you already know that in tabular form, we list all elements within the brackets and separate each element by using a comma. For example, K is the set of three bakery items. Now, in tabular form, you can write your favorite three bakery items within these brackets and separate them by using comma. Here, the bakery items are bread, egg and cake and this is the tabular form. Students, now we learn some important definitions. So the first one is empty set or null set. As everyone understands very well the meaning of the word empty. It means containing nothing. In the same sense we use it for set. When there is nothing in your pocket it means your pocket is empty and if there is no any water in a glass you say that the glass is empty similarly when there is no element in a set it means the set is empty so we can define it as a set having no element is known as an empty set or null set but how can we denote an empty set? An empty set is denoted by the Greek letter which is called phi or simply can be denoted as this. Now we make it clear with example. A is the set of days of 25 hours. Students, as you very well know that there are 24 hours in a day. So we can observe that while writing the elements of this set, we are not able to write a single element. So this is an empty set and we denote it by these brackets and also you can denote an empty set by this Greek letter that is phi. Singleton set. Singleton set is defined as a set having a single element is called a singleton set. Now consider these examples of sets. You can observe that there is only one element in these sets 
So these are all singleton set. Finite set. Finite set is defined as a set having a finite number of elements is called finite set. Let's understand this definition through examples. Here, A is the set of four games and B is the set of vowels. Students, can you count the elements of the set A and B? Yes, you can examine that. It is very easy to count the elements of these sets. A has four elements and B has five elements. So the set A and the set B have a finite number of elements. So these are finite sets. Infinite set. A set having unlimited number of elements is called infinite set. For example, the set of counting numbers n and the set of odd numbers O. Students, these are infinite sets because these sets have unlimited number of elements. Now, the topic is exercise number 1.3, question number 1 and 2 on page number 11. Question number 1 is given over here that is which of the following set is the empty set. So the first part of question number 1 is the set of whole numbers less than 1. Students as you know that the set of whole numbers starts from 0. So in the set of whole number less than 1 we have an element that is 0 so this is not an empty set second part is the set of english alphabet between u and v students as you know that there is no alphabet between u and v so we are not able to write a single element of this set so this is an empty set. Now the third one is the set of vowels other than A and O. So here is the set of vowels other than A and O include E, I, U. And you can see this is not an empty set. Question number two is also given over here that is separate the finite and infinite set from the following a is the set of letters of the word halla gulla students as you can observe that we can write the letters of the word halla gulla as a finite number of elements. So this is a finite set. Here C is the set of number of days in a year. Students as you know that there are 365 days in a year. So this is also a finite set. D is the set of Islamic months and as you know that there are 12 Islamic months so this is also a finite set E is the set of multiples of 3 and you can see that this is an infinite set F is the set of letters C, F, I, M, O, R, 
u. We can easily count these elements. So this is a finite set. Here is an assignment for you. Question number 1, 4 and 5th part. Question number 2, set B and the set G. Thank you for watching the video.